We have defied the odds of history, we have defied critics, and we must defy the odds again in order to ensure that wealth continues beyond three generations. And I believe we can. If that, we can keep up that spirit of reinvigorating ourselves, then I think we will defy the odds of this saying that Fu Pu Guo San Dai. Actually, it's not Fu Pu Guo San Dai. Uh, actually, it's we every the government can do more in preventive health, but individuals must make their efforts themselves to lead active and healthy lifestyles. The government can invest more in skills future, but employers, parents, students, workers must all embrace the spirit of lifelong learning. The government can do more to uplift lower wage workers, but all of us as consumers must be prepared to pay more and accord them with dignity and respect. Importantly, those who have done well in society should do more to contribute and give back to our fellow citizens and uplift those with less. Indeed, many participants in this exercise shared a desire to rethink success and the Singapore dream. Success is not just about chasing our own individual goals or material goals. It's also about a sense of fulfillment and meaning and about contributing to a larger purpose and a common good. In other words, we truly succeed only when we succeed together. Individually, we must all embrace a lifelong learning attitude to refresh our skills throughout life and constantly aiming to surpass ourselves rather than just to surpass others in an exam. Our families will also need to evolve the way we help our children understand their respective strengths, celebrate their respective achievements rather than all of us chasing the same narrow yardstick. For the industries and communities, we must then partner the schools and institutes of continuous learning to shorten the learning cycle from frontier industry practices to our classrooms. Our institutions must also similarly evolve the way we teach and train so that our people can strive towards earning, learning anything, anywhere, anytime throughout their life. And our educators must also embrace new technologies to constantly refresh their skills. And finally, very importantly, our industries must reward skills currency rather than just credentials. Across the different professions, we also want to reduce wage gaps because we want to be able to provide more structured training and very clear structured career pathways for skilled trades. So we will also not let up on our efforts to uplift lower wage workers through measures such as the progressive wage model and also the local qualifying salaries. We will introduce a support scheme for those hit by curveballs, the involuntarily unemployed workers. <laughs> Within our lifetime, uh, the concept of having one career, one iron rice bowl, may not be uh, that, uh, may not hold true anymore. So in preparation for that, during this period, we want to continue to nudge those who are involuntarily unemployed to be able to bounce back and not just bounce back, but bounce back better. So a large component of that scheme will come in in the form of pegging it to the, the, the efforts to um, seek uh, opportunities, pegging it to um, upskilling, retraining. If somebody who would like to be a mother today undergoing fertility treatment takes time off, employer may understand that. But if the husband asks for time off to be with the wife who is having fertility treatment, the initial reaction is probably, uh, how come? Because you don't need to go for the, the treatment as well. But the wife needs support for that. So the shift will be when the employer's immediate reaction is, of course, 
You must go and support your wife and not how come you have to go. And that kind of shift, you cannot legislate. That kind of shift has to be a mindset shift, a, a, a shift of norms, where as a society we move to a, a, a nation that supports and values families. So we will be looking at uh, how to do that and we call on employers, on society as a whole, uh, to help us to make this shift. Um, and it's really known as uh, Singapore Made for Families. There is now this very strong element of the community that bridges government and people. So if you look at Healthier SG, it's really not just about getting the GPs into our system, helping and encouraging the GPs to take care of the health of the individual, but it's also the entire ecosystem of the community to support the individual and to support the doctor. That means the community getting together to organize activities, to form support networks, uh, to nag at each other, to eat less salt, less sugar, working with industries, coffee shop associations, chef association, to lower the kind of poison that we are taking every day. And all these are community efforts. When we talk about age well SG, it's purely a community effort, meaning working with community to set up that kind of support network for the seniors so that they can live actively and healthily within the community. We are moving from social assistance to social empowerment. This means that we will enhance Comlink to a new program we will call Comlink Plus. This will empower these families that we are now already focusing on so that they can achieve their goals effectively, sustainably, faster, better, and for longer. How do we do this? First, we're going to have family coaches for them. And these family coaches will journey with the families over the long haul, co-develop customized action plans, empower themselves. Like I said just now, agency, empower them to build a better future for themselves. Secondly, uh, like what uh, Yi Kang mentioned just now, we are working with the community. And we are working with the community in the broader sense because we do need to provide them some form of financial incentive. We need to recognize and supplement the family's effort themselves in uplifting them and working towards their goals. And there are at least three simple goals. One, to own a home. Two, to find stable employment. And three, to ensure their children get the best outcome from our superb education system. We要加强取自社会、用自社会的意识，取得成就的国人应该多多贡献、回馈社会，帮助其他有需要的国人。只有大家一起取得成功时，我们才能获得真正的成功。We are not just marking a milestone to complete the exercise and put out a report, but we are also launching what we call a Forward Singapore Festival. It's a series of roadshows starting today, but it will move around to different heartland areas in the weeks to come. We hope this will give everyone in Singapore the chance to see the future roadmap that we have all conceived together. And importantly, we want to encourage many more Singaporeans to come on board, to participate and join us in translating our ideas and our ideals into concrete action and results.